This is what my current pedal board looks like. It's a little compact and small and I'm adding some more pedals. So I need a little bit more space. But to start off, you need to find some wood and we don't want to go to Home Depot or anything like that. We want to find some good, free, cheap wood. Um, usually if you go, any, go to any um, places where people use pallets a lot, they might have a stack like this where it's all just free pretty much. Just ask someone and you just look around, try to find a good piece of wood. And I'm doing a 30 by 14 by 2 pedal board. So again, make sure to ask someone if it's cool, if you can dig through their wood and haha, <laughs> dig through the wood. Perfect. So I found a, a small pallet and I took it apart and um, it measured out to what I needed. And we're trying to keep it cheap here. It should look something like this. So now we're gonna physically paint it, put on some tasty tunes and painting away. You can either spray paint it or hand paint it. I'm just going to hand paint it. Let's do it. This is... This is... This is going to take forever. I'm just going to go get a spray can. So I had to come to Walmart. So I ended up getting this spray paint can for 99 cents. So that's perfect. Painting behind some dumpsters. See how this looks now. It should be all dry and everything. Nice. Looks pretty good. I think I made it a little bit too big. So let's go put some Velcro on it. I'm watching uh, Metallica. Once I set it down, I can't move it. So it's staying here forever. Sorry, I don't want to get sued. Puddle board's done, let's check it out. Uh, hopefully this lighting kind of works. Uh, I cut a quarter of it here off. So here's the completed pedal board. I decided to go ahead and just put all the pedals on here because waiting around for pedals to show up and then do another video and then, you know, it's just going to take a long time. I'm running the tuner into the line six, into the carbon copy into the flashback and then the uh, 44 Magnum power amp. Uh, this vocal performer is just for my vocals. Using this K-Line power supply I got from eBay because it has cool LED lights. This is a big power supply for this thing because it's 27 volts. And then I got this uh, small uh, power strip because it has a detachable power cord and everything's Velcroed on here. Sucks. It all ended up being about $10. The paint uh, was about four. The Velcro was like another $2. The wood screws, you know, I just took them off those pallets and recycled them. And... Let's check it out and I'm gonna play a little bit and then that'll be it. So uh, thanks for watching and DIY.